Do you find yourself getting confused on fraction word problems? Raise your hand if you hate word problems. On today's episode of What's the Deal With, we are gonna look at a tricky fraction word problem, and I'm hoping to give you some strategies today that will help. First of all, if you haven't seen my video on Poya's problem solving process, I would highly recommend going back and taking a look at that. That really explains how we can break down word problems. I'm gonna assume you've got some strategies under your belt for that. We're gonna dive right into an example. You want to make a recipe that calls for two thirds cup of butter, but you only have a half cup of butter left. What fraction of the recipe can you make assuming you have enough of the other ingredients? One of the strategies that I like to use when I'm solving fraction word problems is to just swap out whole numbers. So if I think about this problem with whole numbers, here's what it might look like. You want to make a recipe that calls for four cups of butter, but you only have two cups of butter left. What fraction of the recipe can you make, assuming you have enough of the other ingredients? So when I think about this, I know that the recipe calls for four cups of butter. However, I only have two cups of butter. So I'm really saying how many whole recipes can I fit into my two cups of butter? Well, you might be thinking, well, you, you can't, not even a whole. You're right, it's going to be a fraction. So now we're gonna do the same thing with our current fractions. So let's go ahead and write those in. I'll also let you know that I'm gonna be drawing a model because I think it really helps your thinking in word problems like this. Okay, so again, I'm thinking about, I only have one half, the recipe calls for two thirds. So I'm really asking myself, how many copies of two thirds can I fit into one half? Again, I'm thinking about this, I know that I can't make a whole recipe, so I need to know what part of that whole recipe I can make. So I have my whole that I've partitioned into thirds, and you can see I've got one third, two thirds, three thirds, and I'm really saying how many copies of two thirds are in one half? So here is my half, my butter that I already have, but I need to know how many of this bigger thing can fit into the smaller thing, okay? So first of all, I know that this isn't gonna work. I can't just eyeball it. I need to make them all the same size pieces. So if I cut all of these in half again, I can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six copies of a six in the whole. Again, I know that my recipe is calling for the two thirds, right, but I only have one half. So I'm saying, how many copies of this are in this? Well, I know that it's not a whole copy, okay. So that means that I have this part right here, right? So I know that what I have is one, two, three parts of the whole recipe of fourths. So my answer would be three fourths. I am able to make three fourths of the whole recipe. Okay, let's go one more time, just in case you didn't get it, because honestly, this is really tricky. I wanna do one thing to change the way this looks. So again, I'm asking, how many copies of two thirds can fit into one half? I know that that's not one whole copy, right? It's not, it's too big, it's not gonna fit in there. So then my next question is, okay, fine, if it's not one whole copy, then what part of the recipe can I make? Because remember, the recipe calls for two thirds. My unit has now changed. So I'm saying what part of this two thirds, which by the way is now my whole, is this one half? Well, now I can see that I have one, two, three, four pieces, but I only have enough to make three parts of that whole. This is how I get three fourths. So I know that I can make three-fourths of the whole recipe using my one-half cup of butter. I hope that you now have a better idea of what's to deal with fraction word problems and some strategies to solve them.